Hi, squad goals. I'm really excited to be here, so I'm going to wait for a couple people to pop on. Let's see if I can tag some people. Um, hi. Hi, Teresa. Christina, hi. Ree, hi. Christina, another Christina. We got two Christinas up here. One with a K and one with a C. Hi, Sharon, Jamie. Okay, yay, I'm super excited to be here. So, we are going to be talking about PRV, um, all things PRV, sales. And if you guys have any questions or, or I say something that you want me to... Um, if I show anything that you guys want the link to or me to share more information to, please just tell me in the comments and I can do that after um, I'm done with my live, okay? Um, so it is most of you, I don't know if you guys are all in the same time zone, but most of you are three hours behind me. So it is nine o'clock right now where I'm from. So. Let me introduce myself. My name is Rachel Anderson. Um, most people call me Ray or Ray Ray, so that's what I go by. Um, I am from North Carolina, and I live in the middle of nowhere, okay? Um, it's just me and my husband. We have three dogs, three cats. It's a zoo over here. I am like, I love my dogs, okay? I love all my animals. Oh yeah, and we have chickens too. We just we just got chickens on Father's Day. So we've had them for one month, exactly. Crazy, not exactly, but I don't even remember when Father's Day was, but it was in June. So it's been about a month since we got our chickens. So I'm a chicken mom now. Um, I live in the middle of nowhere and there's some pros and cons to it. Okay, I'm about an hour and a half from the nearest Target, which is crazy. I wouldn't say I'm necessarily happy about that, but there's definitely pros and cons to where I live, okay? Um, so I have been doing Scentsy for, shoot, four years, almost four years, crazy, right? Four, 22, yeah, four years. And um, I am a superstar director for the Team 176 Roots, and I'm really excited to be here. So, all right, let's talk about PRV. I was gonna say something else and it totally slipped my mind. I was gonna say something and I start, and then I had to think about how long I've been with Sensi. Crazy, oh, what I was gonna say. Yeah, you're right, almost five. See, I can't do math. <laughs> almost five, you're right, I joined in 2017. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm an idiot, it's fine, it's fine. Math is not my strong suit, guys, okay? I joined October of 2017, so yeah, almost five. Wow. I'm cutting myself a year short. Oh my gosh. Okay, crazy, see, time flies. I don't even count anymore, okay? So I literally, okay, y'all, I am gonna be turning 30 this year, and up until this year, I had to literally count how old I, would, how old I was turning, okay? Crazy, crazy, I know. So yeah, I'll be 30 in October. <laughs> I was actually, right before getting on, I was actually planning, um, I want to go somewhere tropical for my 30th, and so I think I might be going to Costa Rica, so if any of you guys have ever been to Costa Rica and you have some information for me on where I should stay, hit me up, okay? Um, you guys can follow me on Instagram if you don't already follow me. My Instagram handle is Ray Ray, R-A-Y, R-A-Y, S-A-2, Ray Ray, S-A-2, okay? Um, the number two. Um... So yeah, what I was gonna say, actually, I remembered. So I have been doing Scentsy for almost five years. October's five years. Um, thank you, Ree. And I was a nurse. I was a full-time nurse um, when I started Scentsy. So by the time that I left nursing, um, I left nursing in January of 2020, okay? Crazy right before the pandemic hit. Um, really, really scary times. I was scared not only because I was leaving my freaking full-time income, right? And I, at the time, I had matched, I had more than matched my nursing income with Scentsy. It, uh, insert income disclosure. Okay, I should have inserted that at the top, but I'm inserting it here. Um, but I 
was really nervous. Okay. I felt in my heart that it was time to leave nursing um, sooner. I had left much sooner than I had anticipated. And while I had matched my nursing income, it was, I do not believe in working in an environment where you are not happy. I do not believe in that. Okay. Um, I think your happiness should come before anything. Because how are you supposed to take care of someone else if you can't take care of yourself, right? So um, it was time for me to leave nursing. And it wasn't necessarily nursing per se. It was the position that I had been in for three years at that point, okay? I had not been happy for a very, very, very long time. Um, I, am not the, I am not the person who doesn't want to work. I have a very strong work ethic, okay? I get that from both of my parents. Um, I want to work. I want to make money. I want to help people, okay? And um, when it came to a point where I was crying before I would go to work or I would get really bad anxiety or... Um, I just didn't want to go to work. There were times where I had to call out because I just needed a mental health day. And that is when I knew I needed a change in my life. Okay. So I had left nursing sooner than I had anticipated. And let me just say, when I, when I started Sensi, let me just give you a little background on, on my Sensi journey before we go into sales. When I started Sensi, I was that person that did not really believe in direct sales. Okay, didn't know the potential, um, definitely thought it was some type of scam. Um, I, my sponsor had asked me roughly seven times to join and I was like, yeah, not for me. It's not for me. Like I'm not into, I'm not into selling stuff. Okay. I'm a nurse, but deep down in my heart, nursing was not my passion. Okay. I was a damn good nurse, but nursing was not my passion. And I knew that from when I. I applied to nursing school, okay? I had never wanted to be a nurse in my life. And actually the only reason I became a nurse was because my boyfriend at the time had asked me if I would apply to nursing school with him, okay? At that point, I had gone to college to become a marine biologist. I wanted to train dolphins for a living, literally. I know, it sounds crazy, right? 90s baby, all 90s babies wanted to train dolphins. Like I literally went to school for it. Um, and halfway through my freshman year, my boyfriend at the time, very, um, like mentally controlling, uh, wasn't a good relationship, somehow convinced me to stop going for my dreams and to help him get to his dreams. Okay. So I did it. Number one, I would graduate on time. Number two, nursing is a great profession. Number three, I knew my parents would be happy. Okay, I was a people pleaser back then. I'm no longer a people pleaser. It took a very, very, very long time to get to the, um, for me to get to a point where I wasn't pleasing other people and I was finally doing things for myself. And um, I went to nursing school. Funny story, a little story. Funny story. He actually failed out his first year in nursing school. I completed it. I fell in love with nursing, but I still knew that it wasn't what I was meant to do. Okay. There was still like that missing piece where I enjoyed my job. This is this is my first job working at the hospital. I enjoyed my job. I loved loved the people that I worked with. I loved my patients. Um, but there was there was like a missing piece of my puzzle, and I didn't know what what that piece was. I literally did not know what it was. Okay, so um, fast forward a couple years, right? Graduate nursing school. I end up getting out of that really bad relationship and I moved back home to North Carolina. So I had gone to school in Florida. Um, I'm now back home at my parents' house and I'm working full time as a brand new nurse. And um, I then soon after, probably about a, was it probably a year and a half, a year and a half after, um, as a brand new nurse, year and a half into nursing, I meet my now husband. And he lived in a town, a very, very small town where we live now, Murfreesboro, North Carolina, in the middle of nowhere. Um, and so I started, I lived with him for a little bit while I still worked an hour and a half away. So I was driving an hour and a half. And um, I finally was like, look, I can't do this drive anymore, even though I loved my job. So I found a nursing job over here. 
and um, I worked at that. I worked at a doctor's office doing triage. We're in a very, very rural area, okay? So, anyway, that doesn't matter. Um, so, needless to say, I met my sponsor through my husband, okay? And I started purchasing Scentsy from her. And she had asked me multiple times times to join, and I was like, no, it's not for me. Finally, I totaled my vehicle, and I no longer, I now had a car payment, okay? My car before that that I totaled was paid off. I now had a car payment, and now all my fun money that I was making with nursing was going to a car payment. So, I randomly joined Sensi under Katie Lasseter, you guys might know her. She's also an SSD. She's my sponsor. Um, she also lives <laughs> in the middle of nowhere more than me, and she's about 20 minutes from me. I think there's only one stop stoplight in her town, but she's about 20 minutes from me. So I just want to remind you guys, where you live or where you come from has nothing to do with your success. Okay? Let me say it again. Where you live or where you come from has nothing to do with your success, okay? You can still be successful, whether you live in a one stoplight town, whether you have no stoplight in your town, whether there are 50 Scentsy Consultants in your area, you can still be successful, okay? You can still be successful. I truly, truly believe that down to my core. I don't care if you just joined yesterday you can be successful in this business, okay? But you have to believe it. I am a huge mindset person. Um, I really do believe that your mindset has everything to do with your success, okay? Um, it's a huge piece of your success, should I say, not everything to do with it. It is a huge piece of your success, okay? So if you are sitting here telling yourself that you can't get PRV, that you can't book parties, that no one wants to join your team, that you'll never hit director or a specific title, or you'll never make a $10,000 paycheck, guess what? You're right. You're right. You know why you're right? Because you're the only person standing in your way. Because if you can't believe in yourself, why would anyone else believe in you? If you can't tell yourself, I will make a $10,000 paycheck one day, I will make a $30,000 paycheck one day, why would, or if you can't tell yourself that, why would anyone else tell you that? Okay? You have to believe it first. You have to tell yourself on repeat, I will make a $10,000 paycheck one day. Okay? Whatever your goal is. If, if you're making $600 paychecks right now, that is amazing. $600? incredible. $100? Incredible. Guess what? It was $100 more than you had last month, right? Okay? Mindset. I know that these last few months, at least for my girls and my team, have been slow. And your paycheck might not be as big as what you're used to, but guess what? It's more than what you had last month. Okay, it's more than what you had last month. That's what I keep telling myself. And I am going to get to a point. I am going to reach the money goals that I have. I'm going to reach the team goals and the group goals. And I'm going to reach my PRV goals. I'm going to reach my goals outside of Sensi, right? My goals outside of Sensi, because let's be real. I promise I'm going to get to PRV, okay? I just wanted to, this just kind of like, this really just, I didn't even know that I was going to speak about this mindset, but I'm, I, I, right now I feel called to just speak about it real quick. So, um, you really do have to believe in what you're aiming for and what your goals are. And Sensi, Sensi can be a, the vessel to your dreams. Okay. Your dreams or whatever you say they are, okay? But let's say that your dream is to take your entire family, your entire family on a vacation, okay? That's one of my dreams. That's one of my dreams, to take my husband's side of the family, my side of the family on a vacation and pay for it all. Pay for every single penny. Every single penny. I want to take them on an... I'm about to, <laughs> my nose tingles, like burns when I'm about to like start tearing up. That's one of my biggest dreams, okay? My family, 
has done so much for me that I want to do that for them. Anyway, I don't know why I'm crying. Um, so since he can be the vessel to whatever you want, okay? So, all right, before I start crying, <laughs> all right, let's start, let's talk about, um, sales and PRV and why it's important, okay? Okay, so, PRV is the forefront of your business, okay? PRV. And let me tell you why. The higher your PRV is, the more connections you are making, okay? The more people you're talking to, the more relationships you're building, okay? The more relationships and connections that you are building with people means more potential teammates, right? More potential teammates means you're changing more lives. There's 26 people up here watching, 27 including myself, okay? Maybe not all 26 of you realize the potential that Cincy has for your life and not just for your life, but anyone's life, honestly. It can literally change your entire life. And it's okay if you haven't seen that yet. It's okay. It's okay if you don't believe it yet, okay? It's okay. But I promise you, if you keep going, you will see the potential. I did not see the potential until my first paycheck, okay? I honestly didn't even know the percentage that I would make. That is how, that is how, like, that's how much I, I honestly did not believe in Cincy. When I joined, I told myself that I was going to give it my all for three months and see what happens. Okay? I really did not believe in it. I had joined another direct sales company two months prior to joining Cincy. Okay? I invested $400, aka my, my husband, boyfriend at the time, had invested $400, put it on his credit card, and I made $25 back. $25 back. $25. $25. Okay? I ended up hating the products. Let me just tell you. I had never even tried the products before I joined. Okay? Ended up hating the products. Fast forward. I joined Cincy on a whim. Literally. Like Katie had asked me multiple times. I was totally against it. My husband was against it. I came home. I'll never forget this. I had just gotten off. I was still in my scrubs. I came home. My phone was about to die. I plugged it into the charger next to my bed. I sat on the floor and I went to her website and I signed up as a consultant. Okay. And I still remember when it came across the screen and it said, congratulations, you are now a Sensi consultant. And I literally had this like, I'm about to vomit feeling all over the floor. Okay. And I texted Katie and I said, <laughs> I just signed up to be a consultant. She was like, are you serious? I was like, yes, I have no idea what I'm doing. I just failed at another direct sales company. Clearly I can't sell anything because I made freaking $25 back. Like, what is that? And she was like, it's okay. I'm going to help you. And I was like, okay, had my launch party guys. I invited so many people to my launch party and I had three people show up. You know who those three people, I'm sorry. I had four people show up. Katie Lasseter, my sponsor, and my three best friends, who you, we all know felt obligated to come and support their friend, okay? But I did it, and I really put myself out there, and I will still, I still remember to this day checking my, I didn't even know the percentage that I was going to make, okay? I literally did not know the percentage. I also did not know that we were in the middle of an incentive period at this time. Okay? Did not know that until I think it was November. November or December when I found out we were in the trying to earn a trip. And um when I got my first paycheck, didn't know didn't know when payday was. Had had no clue, okay? But that's, that's just how I am. Let, let me just give you guys a little, I don't read anything. So the consultant hand guide um, that came in my kit, yeah, your girl didn't read it. 
I didn't read anything, okay? I don't read. <laughs> You're lucky I'm reading my own notes. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm serious, okay? If you give me one of these, I'm about to show you guys what this is. Your girl's not reading this. I, I'm not, okay? So just keep that in mind when it comes to mail outs. The simpler, the better, okay? And I'm not saying that's not for everybody. I'm just saying I try to think of, of people like me who don't read, okay? Who don't read. Anyway, I'm going to get to that in a minute. But um, I still remember my first paycheck. I had hit the $2,000 mark, okay? And Katie might have told me, but I probably wasn't listening, I don't, I don't think she did, but I remember it was over, it was like $711. And I remember I was hunting with my husband. I'm not a hunter, by the way, I'm not a hunter. But I was hunting, we were in a blind, had to be quiet. I don't like hunting because I gotta be quiet and I gotta sit still, and your girl can't sit still, okay? And um, it was $711, insert income disclosure, and I literally was jumping up and down in the blind with my husband and I was going pointing at my phone my husband was like what and I was showed it to him he was like and I was like I know I don't even know how this happened I have no idea how this happened and that was all she wrote I was like if I can make seven hundred dollars first of all that paid my 406 car payment at the time and then some I was like we going out to dinner tonight boy okay so since he can be the vessel to whatever your dreams are, you have to believe that. You have to believe that, okay? And if you haven't gotten that glimpse of like, yeah, since he can, since he can be something for me, I promise it's coming. I promise it's coming, okay? So, back to sales. PRV is the forefront of your business, okay? So, I truly believe that you have to master sales, before you can move on, okay? So, not master it, because let's be real, none of us are masters. None of us are masters at anything, okay? There's always room for growth. So, I don't really like using the word masters, but you have to, you have to get really, really good at it, okay? And even though someone is really, really good at something, there's still always room to grow, always, okay? So, you have to focus on PRV, and just what I'm saying is kind of look at y'all drop actually y'all um, drop in the comments who has who creates a monthly PRV PRV goal for themselves and tell me what that goal is. So like your monthly goal, tell me what your monthly July goal is. OK, because we have what I don't know, is there 30 or 31 days in July? I don't know. So we got like four days left. Heck yeah, Teresa. A thousand, that's amazing. I remember my thousand dollar paycheck and I was jumping up and down. Re, 3,500, Jamie, 2,000. Teresa, 500. Christina, 2,000. Get it, girl, Teresa, five to 10,000. Holy moly, girl. Sharon, 500, Marie, 800. Y'all, these are all fantastic, okay? So what's super important in this business, please do not compare your journey to anyone else's journey. And I get that that is so much easier than said, even for me, okay? I am really good at staying in my own lane, but I still have times where I am looking at someone else and I'm like, oh my gosh, she's doing so much better than me, okay? but try to stay in your own lane. So this is what I want you to do, okay? I want you to have a goal for yourself every month, but let's say that, let's say, uh, let's say your goal is 500 for July, okay? And you reach that 500 mark and you sell, let's say you reach it, but you're a little bit over. So let's say you, you sell $554, okay? I want for August, especially now that we're about to start the busiest season and best season in Cincy, if, if your goal was 500 in July, but you hit 554, 
Okay, that's that was your ultimate PRV at the end of the month. I want in August, I want you to push yourself, okay? And I want you to aim for 600 or maybe even like 650, maybe $100 more than you did last month, okay? That is a healthy competition for yourself against yourself, right? It's going to push yourself. So I truly believe you have to have a PRV goal in order to step out of your comfort level, okay? So like, for example, for me, my my average PRV monthly is 4,000, right around 4,000, sometimes a little bit less. Um, usually, usually I'm between four and five. Okay, that's like my average monthly PRV goal. Um, now in the fall, it's much higher. It's usually around six, 7,000, okay? Um, but what I like to do is push myself. So this month, my goal is 4,000, okay? So like once I hit my goal for 4,000, the next month I'm gonna aim for like 4,500. Well, next month, August, I'm really gonna push myself, so I'm probably gonna aim for 5,000 next month. Um, but push yourself a little bit more each, each month, okay? The only person you should be in competition with is yourself, your previous self, okay? AKA like last month's self to this month's self. So um, definitely have a monthly goal if you don't, um, I'm challenging you to have a monthly goal, okay? You guys can definitely reach your monthly goal. I have not reached my monthly goal yet. My monthly goal is 4,000 for July, and I am at 43. I'm sorry, 33, 33, sorry. I'm still 700 away. But your girl's gonna get it, okay? Um, and then what I also like to do, I actually like to break down my PRV by weeks, um, you can even break it down by days if you would like, but I like to break mine down by week. So if my goal is 4,000, my average PRV weekly goal is going to be 1,000. Okay, I even have that on my checklist. So I have a checklist that I can share with you guys. Um, my checklist is for my entire business, and I'll, I can give you guys a little glimpse real quick. If you guys are interested in this, I can definitely share this. This is honestly a whole other training, though. All right, so this is my um, this is my business checklist, okay? So as you guys can see, this is for the entire year. It just keeps scrolling over. And as I go month by month, um, I add more things to it. But it's my checklist. So like week one, these are all my tasks. As long as I get all these tasks done in my week one, then my business is completely um, done. And each week has different tasks, okay? And then I can even come down to week sheet two. This is... Okay, I slacked over here. Don't even, I know, I slacked. But July, so these are all the people that I have actually reached out to. Um, and over here, I check whether I ask them to join or I ask them to host, okay? And then the people highlighted are the ones interested that were like, yeah, I'm interested. Um, I even put like little notes next to their names and whatnot, all of that, okay? Um, but my checklist, you guys will see on my checklist, I wasn't, planning on showing you guys this but I can definitely share it um but I, what I wanted to show you guys real quick so each month I have my PRV goal okay so 1,000 by end of week for week one and I check it off when I hit it same for week two I want to have 2,000 PRV by the end of week two okay this just keeps me up on track because um yeah I will definitely share this spreadsheet with you guys and then you can you guys can go Okay, so this is a Google Google spreadsheet, okay? Once I share the link, just so I don't forget, once I share the link with you guys, it'll be a copy, and then in order for you to edit, you'll have to make your own copy, okay? So I hope that makes sense. Once you make your own copy, literally there'll be like the little three little dots that'll say uh, make a copy. Once you make a copy, then you can go and edit it yourself, okay? So you can delete stuff, add stuff, um, any of that. Um, but I like to keep that on my checklist. That way it keeps me like going and pushing myself. So like, let's say it's halfway through week two and I'm only at a thousand PRV, then I'm like, I really need to get myself in check and in gear and hit my 2000 goal by end of week, okay? All right. Some people like to break their PRV down even further by days, okay? So 
if that's you. Some people like to look at a smaller number and say, okay, well, I have to get $80 in orders every day. That's roughly what? Two orders, roughly, depending on the person. Um, so if you need to break it down further, definitely do that. Um, all right, let's talk about how to increase your PRV, okay? All right, parties. Carrie, yes, I do. Um, I am very much a pen and paper person, but <laughs> I'm spastic. So I always end up losing those papers. And so spreadsheet works great. And what's even cooler is that I actually have the Google Sheets on my iPhone, the app. And so I can pull this up on my phone wherever I'm at and check stuff off as when I'm not even at home or with my computer. Okay, so I really like that too. All right, so how to increase your PRV. I have four different topics under here on how to increase your PRV, okay? But... This is, the first one is the biggest one. Probably the first two are the biggest one, actually. Um, parties, okay? Please comment below if you guys still party. And I actually want to know, like, what is, do you have, do you give yourself a party goal every month? So, when I was, when I was a brand new consultant, actually, I would say in my first two years as a consultant, um, I was huge into parties, okay? Like, I had eight to ten parties a month a month after my first month starting my second month up until two years in I was doing eight to ten parties a month okay now um, once I left nursing I wasn't seeing as many people so I backed on the parties plus then COVID hit so every, and I was doing a lot of bag parties so I my first two years I did a lot, a lot of bag parties so then COVID hit, nobody wanted to touch anything, so your girl had to improvise. And I, then I started doing a lot of online parties. So I would do live parties, regular like posting parties, um, all of that. I even tried some text parties. Um, it doesn't matter what kind of parties you are doing, but if you, and honestly, you don't have to party, but partying is going to be the easiest way to grow your customer base. Yeah, uh, Re, I need to, I'm actually, that's my goal for August is to pick up partying in my team page too. Okay, so. Sorry. Wow, yawning. Um, no party goals. Okay, so if you, you do not have to party to be successful in this business. You really don't, but. I do believe if you are trying to grow your customer base, partying is the easiest and fastest way to grow your customer base, okay? So I am finally, not finally, I have gone through seasons where I party, 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 and I grow my customer base, and then all of a sudden, I recruit all of my customer base into my teamies, right? And now I'm like, where the heck is my PRV going to come from? So then I get back into the season of party, 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 party to grow. And then I kind of relax a little bit. It's, it's, we're like, our businesses are constantly evolving. Okay. So I'm not constantly partying. It just depends on the season my business is in. Okay. But I will, I will say for the first two years of my business, I was doing eight to 10 parties a month. Now, some of them were online, some of them were bag parties. Um, if you don't know what a bag party is, it's literally testers, catalogs. Um, if you have any samples or if you have any full-size products you wanna pop in there, you literally give it to someone, you tell them what to do with that bag, they take it to work, they collect orders, get it back to you, enter it in, then you deliver the products back to the host and she, hand, she or he hands them out to everybody, okay? Heck yeah, that's awesome. I did that the other day and I have four parties for August. My goal is five. So, and five parties for me is a lot because I I haven't even, oh my gosh, I have. I will have parties every now and then, but I want to get back into them because I can feel my customer base dwindling down because I'm recruiting them. So, like I said earlier, parties are the easiest um, way to grow, okay? So, um, it expands your customer base, 
Oh, and then one goal to have for yourself is once you book a party and that party ends, have a goal to book one party from that party, at least one party from that current party, okay? Um, you can do an incentive. That's actually what the perpetual party reward is for, is to help you book another party, okay? In case you guys didn't know that. <coughs> All right, and then let's talk about club. Cincy Club. Who... Who has earned the current incentive, this brick of the incentive for, um, it ends in four days, five days, four days. Comment below if you earned it. Um, Cincy Club is a great way to get reoccurring PRV, guys, okay? Oh, uh, Maria, it's definitely hard. This is definitely a hard one because you can't... You can't like control how much your how much your customer puts into a club, right? And it has to be right around sixty dollars. So it's crazy. Yay! Congrats, guys. Listen, if you guys have not earned it yet, it's okay. There's plenty of time. If you are still hustling and bustling, you can do it. Okay, you can do it. I have faith in you. Um, but also, I want to throw this out there. So the first brick of the incentive, the sponsoring brick, I didn't earn it. I didn't earn it. And that's actually the very first incentive that I have not earned since I've been a consultant. And I was very, very down on myself. But at the end of the day, it wasn't because I wasn't trying. It was, you You just, you can't, you can't control other people. My girl, one of my girls that I had sponsored during that time, actually got certified literally a week after the incentive ended. And I was like, no, oh my God. It was less than a week. So, if you don't earn it, it's perfectly fine. It is okay as long as you are, as long as you tried and you put all your effort into it, it's, it's fine, okay? Do not get down on yourself. Be proud that you actually put in the effort and you tried, okay? So, Cincy Club, this is a great way for reoccurring PRV, okay? Um, I will say it takes time. It takes time to build up your Cincy Club to where you are getting that reoccurring PRV to where you don't really have to worry about where your PRV is coming from, okay? Um, one, one piece of advice I can give you for Cincy Club is I highly suggest that you have your own Cincy Club because once you have your own, number one, you know how to work it, you know how to set it up, you know how to change everything, um, you know how to basically share your share with your customers. Hey, this is how you go and edit your subscription. This is how you go and do this, change your billing information, all of that. Okay, you are you can better educate them when you have your own. And to how many people? How many of you guys have your own Cincy Club? Comment below. Um, and then another thing with having your own Cincy Club, you can actually, and I do this often, you can screen share on your phone or take screenshots um, or even go live and show them, hey, this is how I edit my club and this is why you need a Cincy Club and actually show them what is in your personal club, what items you have in your club, okay? Yes. Okay, perfect. And when I say have your own Cincy Club, it doesn't mean that you have to have all products in there like you could literally just have a couple bars in there um so you can show them hey one of the perks of Cincy Club is always get my bar and these bars are discontinued but Cincy is still continuing to make them just for me right so definitely share um what's in your Cincy Club okay and then the other thing um also okay so I have multiple clubs because I'm crazy, but one of my clubs for my half off item, I get the whiff box, okay? And so almost all of my customers get the whiff box half off because I really do believe it's because I'm over here sharing, hey, put $60 worth of products in your cart. That's, that's like an average order, right? $30 is definitely an average order to get that 10% off. Why wouldn't you want to get the 10% off, but put $60 in your cart 
get your favorite wax bars, get your cleaning products, get your laundry products, and then when you get your half off, add your add your um, whiff box to it, and you're going to get, what, June was $64 worth of products, and I got it for $15. Holla. Holla. Hallelujah. Okay? So, um, definitely utilize that whiff box as the half off as your, your, your hook. Okay? To hook them. Um, <coughs> and then unbox your orders, okay? Unbox your Scentsy Club orders on social, with your VIP page, with your customers, whatever you use for your, as your customer VIP page, unbox it and keep unboxing it and showing them what is in your personal club. You would be surprised. People want to see, heck yeah, 15, heck yeah, girl, that's awesome. Sorry. Um, heck yeah. Sorry, I think I said girl and Miguel. Sorry. Um, so, yeah, show them what is in your club, okay? All right. The next thing, educate your customers about the club perks, okay? Educate them. A lot of people, if you just say, hey, do you want to join Scentsy Club? A lot of people are going to be like, I have no idea what Scentsy Club is. Is that a cult? Okay, people, people aren't mind readers. They're not going to know what Scentsy Club is. So you literally, you literally have to break it down for them. Okay. And actually I read something on Instagram today. I think it was like a very high percentage of people have a fourth grade education. So you really have to dumb it down for them. I mean, honestly, people need to dumb it down for me. Okay. Um, so make it simple stupid simple so people can understand it so literally tell them hey it's free to sign up it's free to cancel at any time i literally tell my customers y'all you can literally sign up today and cancel when it ships okay literally you can literally do that it is a customer via well not even customer because your girl's a consultant it is a fragrance VIP program that is free. How many other VIP programs are free where you get discounts? None. And if you know of any, you need to send them to me, okay? Literally. Um, I told my customer the other day, I was like, hey, you need to sign up for Scentsy Club. I even broke down everything and she still, I even, I even, I said, hey, you need to, you need to sign up for Scentsy Club you'll get 10% off your order, and you'll get a half-off item. And she still, I even literally said it's free to sign up. She still came back and said, how much is it to join? I wanted to be like, it's free. I literally just said it's free, okay? That's what I'm saying by make it stupid simple. People do not, people don't believe that our VIP program is free. They don't believe it. They think that there's some type of gimmick or some type of scam up in there. There's not. So you literally have to put it on repeat, okay? Another fun fact, it takes someone roughly seven times to hear something or see something before they act on it, before they actually message you, hey, tell me more about Scentsy Club. Hey, let me, let me hear about this Luna fragrance or this Luna... Scentsy Fresh Spray that you're spraying all over your bed. I see you do it every morning. What is it? Okay. They are not going to message you until roughly six or seven times that they've seen it or heard it. Okay. So keep it on repeat. Keep talking about it. Keep showing it. Keep sharing up. I promise you people are watching. People are nosy as crap, y'all. Okay. I'm nosy as crap. I'm sure all 20 of you are nosy as crap. People are nosy. They are watching you whether you believe it or not. Okay. Just because they're not in your in basket or your inbox or texting you doesn't mean that they're not watching. I promise you they're watching, okay? People want to show. Give it to them, okay? Um, okay, yep. I already talked about that. Oh, one thing about Scentsy Club. Um, like I said, it takes them roughly six or seven times to hear about it. What I do, I don't automatically talk about club. Especially if it's a new, if it's a new t uh, customer, I let them order. 
this is my process for customers, okay, when I get an order. Um, once I see the email come through, I text them sometimes right away. If I'm in the middle of something, if I'm at the beach, your girl's not texting you saying thank you. I will text you in the next day or two. Um, but I text them. Whether I know them or not, I am going to get their number off the workstation and I'm going to text them from my phone. And I literally say, Hey, so-and-so, it's Ray with Scentsy. Thank you so much for your order. I appreciate it so much. Okay, that's my rough draft of a text to, like, a brand new customer. If it's a customer who orders from me all the time, I'm literally going to text them because I already have their phone number saved in my phone. I have a customer. Her name's Lauren. Y'all, she has a Scentsy addiction. I've been trying to get her to join, and she will not join. But anytime she orders, I literally say, Girl, period, you have a problem period. Thank you so much. I love you with a heart. Okay. Because at this point she already knows that I want her to join. And so I'm not going to hound her, but I am going to make it known. You have a serious problem. Why don't you get paid? Basically. That's, that's basically what I'm saying without saying it. Okay. Um, but my new customers, I literally say, Hey, exactly what I just told you guys. And then once they respond, sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. If they don't, I'm over here wondering, number one, did you give me a fake number? Or number two, you just don't want to talk, okay? Some people are weird in the sense of, like, texting. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But majority of them respond, and they're like, you're welcome. And then I'll be like, hey, where'd you find me? Some of them are like social media. Some of them are like, uh, so-and-so referred me to you. And I'm like, okay, great. Um, and then, and then... I follow up once they get their products, okay? Yeah. <laughs> I thought about texting, but I think, what if they don't want me to text them and get weirded out? Okay, listen. They're not going to get weirded out. They're not. And if they are, they're not going to respond, and it's perfectly fine. But I can promise you 99% of the time they're going to respond to you, okay? And that is... Okay, so my view on texting your customers, whether you know them or not, is once you text them, they now have your phone number, right? You have already opened up that door of communication and building that relationship, okay? And now they have a way of contacting you if there was if there's something wrong with their order, okay? <coughs> Sorry, my throat is like really tickly right now. When I talk a lot, my throat gets tickly. I don't know. Anybody else? So, I am challenging you guys, if you guys have never texted your customers that you don't know, I highly recommend texting them, okay? For example, my girl Lauren, she lives in Florida. I've never even met her. I met her through a party, okay? She ordered from a party. We text all the time. We text all the time. Never met this girl, okay? And we're now at the point where I'm like, you have a problem, period, okay? Um, oh, what I was trying to say about Scentsy Club. So, once I follow up with them, let's say they got a Scentsy Fresh counter clean, whatever. The second time I text them, hey, the second time I text them and say, hey, how'd you like that counter cleaner? And then they come back and they tell me how they love it, it's liquid gold, all the yada, yada, yada. Then, I am going to say, I'm so glad you love it. Next time you order, definitely check out Scentsy Club. Uh, you'll get 10% off your order when it reaches $30, and you'll get 10% off plus a half-off item when it reaches $60, okay? I'll leave it as simple as that. Um, sometimes if it's a wax bar that I know is discontinuing, like this month, I'll even add in, hey, you can add that to Scentsy Club and get it forever because it's leaving after the month. Um, and then people are like, what? I can get a discount on my order? And I'm like, yeah, girl, or yeah, boy, whatever. And, um... That's how you hook them, okay? Sometimes they don't care, but sometimes people are like, okay, I'll definitely check into that, and then they make a club later on, okay? So, uh, you just have to keep telling them what's best for them, basically, okay? <coughs> okay, I have found a lot of people do not do this. How many of you create a Scentsy Club new subscriber goal every month? I've been doing this since uh, Scentsy Club became a thing, and it's huge. Not since, probably a year and a half. 
Does anybody give themselves a Cincy Club new subscriber goal every month, not just this month because there's an incentive? If you don't, I highly suggest it. Yes, Teresa, I love that. I love that. Okay, so along with a PRV goal and a new team goal, if, if you're interested in growing your team, I also add a uh, new clubber goal, okay? So my new clubber goal is three a month. Um, that really doesn't ever change. Um, it's right around, it usually stays at three is my goal. And that way I can push myself. So I actually write down my new clubbers on my checklist of who subscribes, and then, sorry, I don't know why I am yawning. I guess I'm not getting enough oxygen to my brain, probably because I'm talking so much. Um, but then it pushes me to have more clubbing conversations, right? So if I only have one clubber or zero clubbers or even two clubbers that are new for that month and I want to reach my goal, I'm very goal-oriented, okay? Then I'm like, okay, well, I need to go talk to more people about Sensei Club. Okay, so it really pushes you out of your comfort zone and re and also reminds you to talk to people and say, hey, it only makes sense, literally, to join the club, okay? Um, oh, and then that's what I was going to show here. Include graphics in your mail outs, okay? So if you do mail outs, I created this a year ago, almost a year ago. Yeah, so this is, and I will include the link in this, um, this is my thank you graphic. So I wanted something that had everything on one. Why? Because your girl's not looking at 50 million things when I open up my mail from someone else, which I don't ever get mail from other direct sales companies, maybe like two people actually. Um, and you best bet those two people I keep coming back to, okay? But this has everything so it literally says thank you this little open area is where i write my thank you note my, my personalized thank you note then right here i put a scratch and sniff sticker this just depends on whatever sticker i have available um photos of my family and then this is actually my this is a photo of my actual signature which is really cool um, and then over here, my QR code, and it literally says scan with camera uh, to join my customer VIP, VIP page, shop, join the club, get free and half off since you get paid to purchase. Okay. And then on the back, I wanted everything about partying, clubbing, and joining. Okay. So I didn't have to put multiple or multiple different graphics in my mail outs. So um, I will include this. Okay. I will include the link along with the checklist. Let me write that down because I have squirrel brain and you're growing. I don't remember. Okay. All right. So I include this in every single thank you package. All right. Next one, how to increase your PRV. Personal specials. How many of you do personal specials? Um, now, I do not suggest doing this all the time. Um, I only suggest doing this every so often as kind of like a thank you to your customers. Um, simply because if you do a lot of personal specials, then your customers are going to wait for you to do a personal special. Okay? So, I do, I do personal specials like every so often with my customers. Um, I personally love PWS orders love PWS orders. Why? Because your girl doesn't have to package and your girl doesn't have to deliver. Okay. And your girl doesn't have to input the order. <laughs> I'm getting lazy, but PWS orders is where it's at. Okay. So personal specials, obviously they require a lot more work, um, but they are worth it. And my customers love them. So actually right now I have seen a bunch of my girls, um, doing, uh, what is it like the clean bundles using classic clean especially with the uh, catalog sale going on right now but um, on top of that in case you guys didn't know you can actually play around add products into a party order once it reaches the minimum 200 then you start getting rewards and then you use your rewards to get even more products to get the products more at a discounted rate okay so that's also something you can do to get PRV, okay? 
Um, and then lastly, to increase your PRV, this is something I really, I have a really big passion for. Um, social selling. I believe in social selling. I really think that you can, you, you can build an entire customer base from social selling. Similar to parties, but I think parties is a faster way. Um, but I think social, <coughs> social selling is just as good. It's just a little bit slower. Um, so number one, I'm primarily talking about Instagram when I talk about social selling, okay? And that's just because Instagram is like my platform, the platform that I'm focusing on, um, the platform that I have more experience with. Um, I'm sure you can do the same with TikTok. I'm sure you can do the same with Facebook. Um, I just started doing Facebook Reels. But my biggest thing for Instagram is if you want to grow, your account needs to be public. Okay? Because when you're doing Reels, your Reels are, if your account is private and you're doing Reels, product, product Reels or, I don't know, business Reels, or even just everyday reels about your family, your kids, your life. The only people that can see them if your account is private are the people who already follow you. Okay? So if you want to grow and you want to reach new people, new faces, new connections, new relationships, then you have to be on public because then when you do your reels, Instagram pushes your reels out into everybody. Not everybody, okay? We don't know how the algorithm works. No one knows how the algorithm works, but your reels have more potential of being put in front of more faces, okay? So, public account. Um, I'm really big on showing your face and showing up authentically and not waiting until you look perfect, okay? Um, people want real, authentic, rawness in their life okay people want to people want to feel like they are not the only ones sitting behind the screen with five day old hair that's a grease ball with five pounds of dry shampoo in it and um i don't know whatever eating a bag of cheetos okay haven't worked out in three days okay we all go through hard times we all have struggle days um we're not all 100% all the time, okay? People want to know that they are not alone. So, I'm challenging you to get up and show your face, whether that's on your stories, whether that's going live, showing a unboxing, um, showing people how to change your wax, whatever that may be, show your face, okay? People want to connect with the person behind the camera, not the product they are showing, okay? So, and um, I say this all the time, your customers are purchasing from you, they're supporting you, they're not supporting Scentsy, okay? Like, yes, our products are great, but there's how many thousands and thousands and thousands of us consultants, we all sell the same product. Your customer is coming back to you for a reason, okay? And I promise you it's not because of the product, okay? So remember that. Um, show yourself using the product, a really big one, which most of you maybe already do this, I'm not sure, but Ooh, I love that, Re. I didn't even see that. You have a new customer goal every month? I love that. I didn't even think of that. I am about to add that to my list. Okay, new customer goal. Sorry, that was so, like, I, f I realized that you commented that, like, like 10 minutes ago. Anyway, um... Oh, show yourself using the product, a really big one, which I feel like it's died down a little bit, at least from the people that I follow, is spraying your bed with Scentsy Fresh every morning, okay? Spray your bed. You don't even have to tell people why you're spraying your bed. Someone is eventually going to message you and say, hey, what is that stuff that you spray on your bed every morning and on your curtains and on your uh, throw rugs? What, what, what is that? Okay, what is that? Counterclean. If you're cleaning up your kitchen, go ahead and take a quick little video of you spraying your uh, countertops before and after and show them how good it works. Bathroom cleaner, y'all. Our bathroom cleaner is amazing. Literally amazing. I show befores and after all the time, especially because I have hard water. 
That stuff is magic. I swear. And then the next thing, educate your clientele or the people that are following you on how to use our products. Ooh. I did not know that. I, Teresa, I didn't even know that I could do that. She said she uses Scentsy Fresh in her carpet cleaner. I'm about to try that. Um, educate your people about our products, okay? So don't just show a video of... I mean, you can, but I think they go... Sorry. You have to do both. You don't have to do them both at the same time, but you do need to educate why our products are the best and how they work, okay? So educate your people and say, hey, this is how you change your wax. Hey, this is how you clean your diffusers. Hey, this is how you put water and oil in your, in your diffusers. Hey, this is how our air purifier works. Hey, this is what goes in the back of our Scentsy Buddies. It lasts this day or this many days. Um, this is what's inside of them. Um, our wax is made out of paraffin wax, all of that, okay? Education goes a long way. Once people can understand why they need our products, they are more likely to purchase our products, okay? When people realize that our bathroom cleaner is made out of citric acid and the fumes aren't gonna run you out of the bathroom and you don't have to worry about your hands being burned from a chemical, then they're going to. And then they see the before and after, then they are more likely to purchase the product, okay? But people also wanna see that you use the product, okay? Why would someone buy a product that the person selling doesn't even use? All right? And then last but not least, uh, this is the most important part about PRV, okay? We're gonna circle back. High, higher PRV is the for, or PRV is the forefront of your business. Higher PRV means more connections. Okay, you have to connect with your customers on a deeper level than fragrance. Okay, if you want them to stick around, you have to connect with them on a deeper level than fragrance. So find something that you guys have in common, and if you don't have anything in common, check in on her or him. Okay. If you saw that their kid was sick or broke their leg, check in on them. Even, I don't have kids. I can't relate to moms. I can't. Not on the mom level, but I can relate to someone because I care about them and I care about their kids. Okay? So check in on them. Hey, girl, how's mom life going? If she's struggling, she's going to message you back and be like, wow, I feel like I'm drowning over here. My kids are going to... My kids are going to cause me to go to jail or whatever the case may be. Then you'd be like, listen, you got this. Okay. And then the next time you see a reel about a mom struggling, you can send it to her and say, hey, girl, just wanted to let you know you're not the only one. Okay. You're not the only one and you got this. You got this. Okay. So connect on a deeper level. So that's all I have for you guys. I told my husband that this was going to be a 30 minute <laughs> training. I lied. I lied, but he probably already knew that. I always tell him it's a certain amount. <laughs> but I hope that this training helped you guys. Um, thank you guys for having me. Thank you guys for engaging with me. I love lives where people engage. I love it. Yeah, I'm about to go wash my face. I got some new um, face wash and like skincare products. I'm really excited to use. So, um, Yay! I'm so happy you guys loved it. So thank you guys so much, Re. Thank you, thank you for asking me to come and speak with you girls and well, not just girls. Sorry, guys, everybody. And um, I hope you guys have a great rest of your month. Keep rocking it. We still have four days left. And if you are still hustling and bustling for your PRV, your own goals, your teamies, your club goals, right? Your new customer goals. You got it. Okay, you can do it. So remember, mindset is everything. Mindset is everything. You have to tell yourself that you can do this, okay? And hey, one trick, whenever I go through really hard um, like mindset transitions where I feel like I'm speaking like negative things on repeat, then what I do is